Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share a concept with you. A lot of times we don't think of things in certain from certain perspectives. And one of the things I noticed, many of us, when something goes wrong in our lives, we are so quick to place the blame. Who do most of us blame? God. Who do most of us get angry with? God. Mm. who ends up being the scapegoat in the long run? God. Now, here's my question to you. Let's say it's a child that got run over by a car. Let's say it is a a child that got uh, hurt or got beaten up, you know, somewhere down the street and is in the hospital. Now, First thing you're going to think is how could God allow good things to ha- bad things to happen to good people, right? Well, let me ask you this. Number 1, if you have an umbrella over your head in a rainstorm and you lay the umbrella down, will you or will you not get wet? Now, knowing that you will get wet, do you blame the umbrella? Okay, the reason you don't is because you chose to lay the umbrella down, correct? Now think about it this way. I'm just trying to get you to see it from a different perspective. What if that child was told, do not go outside, don't go out the yard, don't chase the ball down the street, call me and I'll go get it. And what if they did it anyway? What if your child was told, never cross the street? by yourself. Always come get me if you need to cross the street for anything. And what if they cross the street and get hit by a car and get killed? Now, that was not punishment from God. It is called natural consequence. If I step out in the rain with no umbrella, no raincoat, no boots, yes, I'm going to get wet. And nine times out of 10, If it's cold, I don't care how wonderful of a person I may think I am. I'm going to catch a cold. So, there are certain laws that work while we live here in the land of the living. And when those laws are broken, it doesn't mean they're broken with something bad, with a bad deed, with a sin. No. It doesn't mean it's broken by a bad person. No. And it doesn't mean that because the laws are broken that there is punishment. No. There is something called cause and effect. Y'all stop blaming God for things people choose to do. Old or young, choices bring about consequences, cause and effect. If my husband, who acknowledges the fact that it was his fault that he went blind, had not been stuck on alcohol when he was unsaved, had not been given to his appetites, sweets, and everything his little tummy could hold, he would not have become a diabetic. As a result, he would not have gone blind, and he would not have been on dialysis for 10 years of his life. All of us have to suffer things. It's always good to ask God to reverse the damage you've already done. It's always good to ask God, even if I forget to acknowledge you, would you put a loud check in my spirit before I do something that's going to bring harm to me or someone else? But my question to you, is if he puts that check in your spirit, will you have an ear to hear and will you have a mind to obey? Hmm.